So our work on uh, question answering uh, focuses on um, providing the capability for a human user to ask for information uh, in a very natural way, uh, the same way that they would ask a human assistant uh, for information. Um, it's actually built up of uh, several um, fundamental algorithms that we work on in the Language Technologies Institute. So uh, the first thing you have to do is to analyze the user's question and understand what they're asking for at the level of the underlying meaning rather than just the words that they're using. Um, so that involves doing work on what we call natural language parsing. Uh, then we have to search for the relevant documents or information resources that we can use to answer that question. And that involves algorithms uh, in indexing and retrieval or search engines, uh, which is another you know, big part of the research that we do here uh, at the LTI. Uh, then we have a step where we take those documents that we've retrieved and then we try to extract the candidate answers for the question, uh, which involves uh, the field of information extraction, which is yet another component technology uh, that we work on here uh, in the LTI. And then finally, we have to combine uh, all of the candidate answers together and, and reason about what is you know, sort of the best answer um, you know, to, to provide uh, to the user. So when IBM was considering whether to uh, mount this Jeopardy challenge and really try to apply their question answering technology to this very challenging, you know, real time um, question answering problem, um, they got in touch with us uh, because they knew that um, more advances would be required at the level of uh, the, uh, the software architecture. The Jeopardy problem is an important challenge for the field uh, because systems have to um, respond much more quickly than they ever have in the past. Um, also, the system has, has to have a much better model of its own confidence in its answers because in the Jeopardy context, you can actually decide not to answer and wait to hear what the other contestants give as an answer and then maybe buzz in and then give a second answer. If you look at the Jeopardy game, uh, it requires forms of reasoning that are quite sophisticated. Uh, there's uh, lots of use of metaphor and rhyming, puns, puzzles, you know, these kinds of games, um, which go beyond just understanding the meaning of the language, but doing more sophisticated kinds of, you know, inference or reasoning uh, over that. Um, so I think, you know, as a challenge problem, um, Jeopardy really will stretch uh, the state of the art if we can come up with a, you know, system that really can compete uh, with humans there. So IBM uh, in the long term uh, is planning to have uh, other organizations, you know, participate uh, not only in this, uh, you know, Jeopardy challenge problem, but the other challenge problems that we've been developing in the OAQA uh, initiative. Um, and we've already had students from Carnegie Mellon, um, you know, collaborating with IBM. Uh, and in the future, we'd like to broaden that. And we've done question answering in the class before. And I'm looking forward to, you know, doing something related to these challenge problems there. Um, in particular, what you can do is you can focus on one component algorithm uh, of an agent like a Jeopardy agent and improve the document recall, you can improve the answer quality, you can think of different models for answer confidence. And the whole idea behind defining this logical software architecture is to make it very pluggable. So if you have a student who comes up with a bright idea for how to solve one component of the problem, they can produce a software module that will plug into the larger system and then can immediately be tested to show whether or not it gives you a comparative uh, advantage, you know, to the technology that you have before. And I think what we'd like to do is sponsor the idea of uh, student teams working together where they sort of mix and match and combine different algorithms and then come up with optimal or, you know, best of breed solutions, um, you know, to challenge problems like Jeopardy.